Howdy, y'all. Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today we're going to talk about quantum numbers. Get out your periodic table and I'm going to make a few assumptions. I'm going to assume that you know the periodic table. I'm going to assume you understand electron notation and electron configuration and you are familiar with quantum numbers. You say, what? I don't know these? Well, don't panic. Just uh, follow the uh, links in the description over to my channel and at my channel you can find the playlist and the videos that you need uh, to get ready for this video. Then come back and watch this video again. But if you have electron configuration and electron notation down, then let's just get started. Here's the problem. What are the four quantum numbers for the 20th electron in scandium? All right, well, let's develop a plan. And that would be first, let's determine the atomic number. Let's write the orbital notation out, then find the 20th electron, and then write the four quantum numbers for that electron. All right, well, here's the periodic table. And right there is scandium at number 21. So it has 21 electrons. And let's go back to the magic uh, blackboard and write it out. So what is the orbital notation for scandium? Well, scandium has 21 electrons. And let's go ahead and write those out. And you'll see that we follow the Huns rule. And there we have it. There's our 21 electrons put into the uh, orbital notation. And we want uh, to do the quantum numbers for number 20. Uh, not number 21, but number 20. Okay, so number uh, 20 is that one right there. And we know that N is the first quantum number, and that stands for the energy level. And you'll notice that it's in the fourth energy level. And then L uh, is for the orbital shape. And we'll see that this is in the S orbital, 4S orbital, which means then that would be zero. Its numerical value is zero. And then M sub L tells us the position. And we see that again, it is in an S orbital. And there's only one position, so that's zero. Then M sub S tells us the spin, and it's the second one in, and I usually consider that to be negative one half. All right, let's recap. You wrote the orbital notation for scandium. You determined the 20th electron in scandium, and you wrote the four quantum numbers for scandium. And if you uh, like that, be sure to go and see some of my other videos. So thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you learned something. And go over and check out some of my other videos there on the channel. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Happy Ions, y'all.